Hello, this is Doug. How do you communicate with data that you get out of Excel? Do you just show a table of numbers and let the data speak for itself? That might be a big mistake. With a small table, that might be okay, but with a mid-sized table and even a large table, you're gonna overload your audience. Sometimes even with a small table, that might not be the best approach. When they say a picture is worth a thousand words, they're not too far off when you're trying to communicate with data. In this video, I'll show you why you might always wanna look at including a chart when you're presenting your data. So why should you chart out your data? I'm gonna introduce four sets of data here. So we have these four sets of data, right? So we have XY here, XY here, the second group, third group, and the fourth group here. And this is known as Anscombe's Quartet. It was created by English statistician, Frank Anscombe. I wanted to illustrate the importance of graphing data. We're not gonna to get too deep into the statistics of this. We're just gonna look at mean, variance, and standard deviation. And I think he wanted to show to his fellow statisticians that you know when they are looking at numbers, they think that, oh, the numbers are exact and graphs are rough and they should kind of discount graphs. But using this data set, it kind of proved the importance of visualizing your data. So let's look at this, right? Let's look at this first set, the mean, we can use that with the average function. Let's find the mean of this x, this set of x data, right? And let's do the variance. We'll just do the variance, a sample variance, and select that data, and do the standard deviation. We'll do standard deviation sample, and select that data, right? And let's pull this across, pull this data across. So we know that we have our mean and variance and our standard deviation of x and y, and you can see that it's all there, right? But let's pull it to the second grouping here. And you'll notice that it's the same. x and y are the same, right? And let's do it again. Pull it uh, to all four. And if you look at all this, they look all the same, right? Now, if you look at groups one, two, three, and four, they're all the same for x and y. And you can think to yourself, oh, this is all the same. Mean, variance, standard deviation. This is all kind of the same data. And they probably all look very similar. And that's very far from the case. So let's plot this out. So if you decide to plot this out, let's just choose this first set here. Select that range, go to insert, and let's enter it. insert a scatter chart. You see that this is how it looks. Make this a little bit smaller so we can put them side by side. All right, so this is the first set. This is set number one. All right, let's look at group two. Let me select group two here. And you might think, oh, they're not gonna be too far apart, right? Go to insert, go to scatter, select that. And wow, that is totally different, right? Group two is totally different from group one. You've got this curve shape instead of the scattered, this set of scatters. You thought, okay, well, they might not be too different from group three. Let's select group three. Go to insert, scatter, another one. Oh. Now we have something kind of similar, but look, there's this outlier here, right? This is all one, this is a linear path, and now there's this, this one outlier, and you think to yourself, oh, that's really different. So see, even though the mean variance and standard deviation are the same, the chart is different. Now, how about this one? Go to insert, scatter, and look what we have here, everything, is on one line. I'll make this a little bit bigger. It all is one stick going up. We have our X at eight and we have what was one outlier at 19. You can see the dramatic difference in all of the charts here. And we all have the same values here for our mean variance and standard deviation. And that's why it's probably important when you're looking at data, even with a small data set like this, if you are comparing things, maybe a good idea is to chart it out and see where the data falls visually so you can get a better understanding of what your data looks like. So you have to think about it. Even the statistician has to kind of show to his fellow statisticians that numbers in the table may not always tell the true story. You need to have a graph or chart to visualize it in order to get some meaning from your data. So I hope that example with Anscombe's Quartet gave you a feel why you should always want to try to look at a chart before presenting your data as a table. This was a good example of why the average of data may not always lead you in the right conclusion when you're trying to present data in a table. So I hope that helps. 
Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.